Eddie Martins, 37, and Richard Hall, 33, of the Brooklyn South Narcotics Unit, were arraigned Monday on a total of 50 charges, including first-degree rape, first-degree criminal sexual act and second-degree kidnapping, the district attorney's office said. Both detectives pleaded not guilty to all counts, according to the district attorney's office. Martins was released on $250,000 bail and Hall was released on $150,000 bail. Each could face up to 25 years in prison if convicted. The allegations represent a flagrant betrayal of public trust, according to Eric Gonzalez, the acting district attorney for Kings County. It is incomprehensible that two veteran NYPD detectives would allegedly commit such an outrageous act. They took an oath to protect and serve, but allegedly violated that oath by raping a young woman who was in their custody, he said. We will now seek to hold them accountable for this flagrant betrayal of public trust. September 15 incident prosecutors with the district attorney's office described a gross misuse of police power and sexual misconduct in the case. The incident allegedly occurred on the evening of September 15 when Martins and Hall, plainclothes detectives, left their post without authorization and drove to Calvert Vox Park in Brooklyn, the district attorney's office said. There, the officers stopped a car driven by an 18-year-old woman with two male passengers. They arrested and handcuffed the woman on drug charges, and told the male passengers to leave and pick up the young woman later, the district attorney's office said. Detective Martins allegedly told her that he and Hall are freaks and asked her what she wanted to do to get out of the arrest, the district attorney's office said. Martins allegedly then raped the handcuffed woman in the back seat as Hall drove and watched in the rearview mirror. The detectives then allegedly stopped the van in Bay Ridge, about four miles from the park. After they switched places in the van, Hall forced the woman to perform a sex act on him, according to prosecutors. Later the officers drove back to the 60th precinct and dropped off the woman, telling her to keep her mouth shut, the district attorney's office said. The young woman went to Maimonides Medical Center and underwent a sexual assault evidence kit, prosecutors said. DNA from the woman matched both of the detectives, while video surveillance showed her leaving the police van at about 8.42 p.m. that evening, according to prosecutors. Mark Bidero, an attorney for Martins, said in a statement that the detective is entitled to the same presumption of innocence as anyone else. Being a police officer doesn't change his right to due process. We unequivocally deny the allegation that he forcibly attacked the young woman, Bittero said. We don't believe that the credible evidence will support the claim that any rape or sexual assault occurred. An attorney for Hall did not immediately respond to a request for comment.